Well, salute to Mondo there, chums, as we can see, I'm just loading up into No Man's Sky, because I'm going to be continuing on learning words of the GAC and also the autophage. And when it comes to autophages, I'm also going to be repairing them, running their missions, and also learning their lingo. But firstly, I'm going to be debriefing my frigates in a hope that they become S-Class. There we go. That's um debrief these then. Oh, I got a psychnotic egg. Uh, I got another psychnotic egg. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Okay, let's head on down then. Chat to this guy. Let's see how we're getting on. View expeditions! I'm probably going to do the two hour one at a free star. Why the fudge not? Let's pop on over and we'll be picking up this guy this guy and this guy look at that we've got two a classes now people they are slowly getting there slowly but surely oh okay let's let's uh, let's stick another ship on here as well um let's go for one of my organic vessels i want to see whether we can get some of those those sacks to increase like the living ship inventory space i've got a lot of people telling me that for the life of them they can't get them they're rare as rocking horse turd, those things, people. Anyway, we've dispatched those. I'm going to jump to a new GEC system of space, mainly because then I can hit on up the station and learn a load of Geki words. But uh, I also want the system to be a dissonant system. So let's go for life form. There's one right there, right next door. The neighbouring system is another dissonant system. Would you have an an it? Awesome. I'll see you in the station, people. Okay, people, I'm going to head on up then. Let's go and speak to some of these little gacky chaps. Hello there, little gacky chap. How are you, my friend? Request a dialect home. I want to learn a word from the traveler symbol. So we've still got three layers there of words to be learned, or three categories of words to be learned. I should have spoke to the Corvax while I was there as well. Let's talk to this guy. But I think you get the idea. I'm going to run around, talk to all these little chaps. Okay, people, it's now gone down to two. So here we go, trade a salt, I'll show you. Here we are, look. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's um, riveting stuff, this. There we go, look, two entries. Brilliant. That means we're getting slowly closer to the never-ending pile of words that are learned, learned. Hello, that chum. Yeah, let's request dialect help. Oh, we're down to one. There can't be many words left now. I might get all the gek finished in this episode, people. Oh, I don't want to speak to you. I want to speak to your little cross-eyed mate next to you. Oh, bunch of heck. Get out, get out, get out. Right, okay, there we go. I want to talk to this guy. Hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the, your assortment of eyeballs. Okay, yes. Let's, uh, let's hit this one up. Mystery symbol. Explosion, you say. Nice! Right, well, we're going to head on over to the gecky type marshy planet in the system that's also dissonant yes it's a marsh world so kind of cool the geck come from like a marshy world inside of the law called Beleron. yeah cool let's head on over here it's quite a small planet as well from the scanner that i saw earlier which means everything would be slightly more condensed and together hopefully that goes for well this is this is it here there we go we're heading down Hopefully that goes for knowledge stones, if there are any on it. And hopefully I can learn all the Gek words super quick. But I have got a few tips for you. It's like, um, as soon as I break the atmosphere, I usually search for a trading post. Go to a trading post. In the last episode, though, I bumped straight into a colossal archive. Anyway, I'll see you down there, people. So I did exactly what I suggested I was going to do. I popped a trading post. I did think I saw a colossal archive, but it wasn't. It was one of these giant freaking root bundles. Yes, these planets are littered with them. In fact, pretty much every swamp planet are. Okay, why is it not letting me land? Okay, it's going to land. Cool, awesome, lovely jubbly. And we can go and talk to all the Gex here. I might learn all the Gex words, people. Let's run on up and let's keep our fingers crossed that we complete the set. Hello. Little snail-eyed guy. How are you? Looks like a deformed smurf, doesn't he? Right, here we go. Mystery symbol. Lovely jobs. Past. Cool. Right, let's go talk to this guy. I think you get the idea. I'll let you know if anything wondrous happens. 
Okay, chums, it appears there's still words to be learned, but I can see that there is a knowledge stone just over on yonder hill. There is a storm incoming, but we should be fine. Still in creative mode. I'm still using that new jet pack that I picked up last episode, people. Isn't it gnarly? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it fandangly awesome? Well, you probably say no, and I'll probably say, ah, dang you. And, um, yeah, you'll probably say, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there you go. I'm having a conversation with myself right now, people. I know, I'm insane. Right, we're heading over here. Let's get to that one. Looks like this planet is really good for knowledge stones. So, not only is it a small planet, it's also a planet covered in water. Now, you don't get knowledge stones underwater. So, its whole repertoire of knowledge stones have to be spread across its surface. Sadly, it seems to be quite a hilly planet. Um, it would have been nicer if it was flat. If this was flat, this would have been the perfect hunting grounds for knowledge stones. But um, since it's pretty darn hilly, I mean, look at it. It's um, it's not just hilly, it's freaking crazy. But look, you can see another knowledge stone right there. So I'll just head towards that. Now, what I could be doing at the same time is blasting a load of um, crystals as I go, you know, these radiant shards, and up in my sort of allegiance with the autophage. Not seeing many radiant shards as I'm just jumping around, but I am seeing a lot of knowledge stones. Look, there's some radiant shards there. Let's just lock onto those radiant shards then, since I'm talking about them. We go and hit these up quickly. And then from then, hopefully, I'll find another knowledge stone. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing on this planet until I get a little bit bored. And then I go and visit the autophages, do a few words and a few missions of the autophages. And uh, yeah, that's. that's pretty much my day to be honest inside of no man's sky until the actual an update drops or another expedition or something this is me in a nutshell i don't know what's keeping you guys busy inside of the viewerverse but if you feel i should be putting my focus somewhere else inside of no man's sky please let me know i mean if you feel that there's a, a guide that needs to be redone something that you're struggling with that you feel might help newcomers be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do something or, or I'll try my best to and do an updated guide if I feel one's needed. Which, in all fairness, I'm looking for stuff to do. Hence this, you know? So, yeah, there's a good chance if you've got something I could be doing, I, I'll probably go do it. The things that I'm probably not inclined to do, though, is anything that's sort of like not going to help the community in a vast way. You know, I, I, I like to do guides that are going to help. It's so say if you hit me up and said, oh, come and visit my lovely base. It, it's an idiom farm or something like that. I'm probably not going to go do that because loads of people can make their own farms and they can go to the coordinate exchange if they want to. And also, I still have the odd rendering issues with bases and visiting places. And multiplayer is a bit squiffy. The amount of questions you get off the back of that, say if you take your base down to do some changes or whatever, and people are like, ah, that base changed. It's outside of my control. It just gets a little bit... A bit weird that um sometimes i go and do base visits if you're a long-standing member of mine and you put a lot of effort into it or something or it's a little bit gnarly or a little bit different or you're doing some sort of community event and you're another content creator you know then there's exceptions to the rules there's always exceptions to the rules but at the same time yeah it's like something i haven't done for ages is how to set up a farm like a rusted metal farm or something you know, a lot of people do idiom farms, but rusted metal farm, it's the same concept, but a lot of people need rusted metal to turn into the autophages if they're doing it the legit way. You know, so maybe I need to make another rusted metal farm or something. Yeah, let us know anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, I'm going to go hit up some more knowledge stones. Okay, I've just hit the knowledge stone jackpot, so I've got this one here. Then I've got a whole freaking bevy of them over here. Look, it's like an army of Daleks. Nice. Let's go hit this one up. Sweet. We've got two right next to each other here. Oh. Fudging what? Gonna hit that one up. And this one. Nice. I think that might be a radiant shard just over yonder hill. It is. Lucky days. Brilliant! We've got loads of radiant shards there. So yeah, that's oh, that's another knowledge stone right there. This planet is freaking great for knowledge stones. It really is. People inside the view of us. So yeah, I give you the coordinates for this planet if you do want to come here, because it, it does seem to be quite a fun planet as well to traverse, and get your knowledge stones, and get all your radiant shards that you're ever going to need. And these radiant shards, even if, even if you're not doing the old um, uh, the autophage stuff and malarkey. 
you're not overly fussed about upping your standing with them. You know, you can transfer all of these radiant shards into nanites. So if you want to nanite palm and at the same time learn words, this is a pretty good planet for doing both of those things. Oh, look, there's another knowledge stone right here. Let's just jump over the hill. Knowledge stone, I'm on my way! Don't you go away. Chicka boom! Lovely jubbly. Okay, we're doing pretty darn freaking epically well on this. Although there's another knowledge stone just over there. Anyway, I'm having fun doing this. Oh, I better give you those coordinates. I said I was going to give you them and then didn't do anything. There you go. There they are in the bottom left-hand corner there, people. Give it a pause. You might have to crop your screen and zoom in and all that sort of shenanigans. But there you are. It's in Hukaland. Okay. I know, jumps. As fun as it is, jumping all over this place and doing what I'm doing, um, I'm going to call out my exocraft this little chappy boom and i'm gonna scan for an ancient relic site firstly people I'm gonna go to an ancient relic site and then i'm gonna hit on up a monolith as well because you get a lot more knowledge stones in that sort of like little area okay let me out let me out go on. let's call in my ship and i'll see you over at the relic site i'm gonna aim my ship the right way yeah i'll see you there see you at the relic here I am, chums. I've arrived at the relic site. So hopefully we're going to find ourselves free knowledge stones. Oh, there's a gecky head up there as well. I took a picture of one the other day for my thumbnail. I have to go get that from the Twitter space and use that on today's one. Or I could just use this one from today's one, couldn't I? That would make more sense. Just take a new picture. Why the fudge not? Okay, that clears the marker. There we go. That could make a nice picture. Let's just hit this up. Sweet. And then all I want to do is seek help with language. It gives me an extra word then. Wish you gave ten or something, you know. They've added so many more words into here. That would be kind of nice if they did that. Let's go into there. And that's going to be my thumbnail. Why not? Ooh, let's see if we can get a bit of sunlight in there. That's probably a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. Photo. Well, let's stick that on the old Twitter space, shall we? There we go. And post. Right, let's go learn some words. Hit this one up. Boom. Contact. Cool. Is there one this side as well? No. Oh, there's hiding behind this post. You sneaky little devil. Then there's usually one on the lower plinth. There it is. I'm landed right on it. There we go. I was kind of half expecting that to complete the word set, if I'm being brutally honest with you people, because that's another four hit up already. Right, well, let's call back in the Exocraft, and uh, we're hit on up. An ancient monolith, I guess, because that's going to give us another three words. Kushti. Chikapa. Okay, ancient monolith detected. I'll see you guys at the monolith. Here I am, standing at a monolith, wishing I was somewhere else. I guess we've got the word afraid. You should be afraid of my singing lyrics, I guess. And what's this one? Procidia. Right, hang on over here. Let's proceed over here. Yeah, I can't wait until this is over. I really can't. Okay, well, let's head on around the hill. Let's hit this one up and let's see if we can do a little mini puzzle just to break the monotony. Here we are, then, people. One game, Burn Almighty, Fast Spring, Beating Tide Game. Yeah. Respect the Firstborn's belongings. Okay. Light prior with mining beam. There we go. Done, Dilly, and done. Communications of the Atlas are fully mapped. Yes, I've learnt every Atlas word, people. So, we're doing quite well with this whole Gek, short of Spiel, and Glecken the Spiel. Um, I'm not seeing any other monoliths in nearby Proximati. You know what? I think now's the time, people, to start hitting up some of the the other dudes. The autophages. Other dudes. There you go. Pow! Let's go find an autophage camp. And we'll have a look see if there's knowledge stones near to each autophage camp. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to learn much more Gek this episode now. Now I'm going to learn a little bit of autophagy stuff. Do a few autophagy missions. And take it from there, people. Yeah, the autophages, I find these really tedious to talk to because they've got nested menus. It's not as easy to learn their words. You have to press down a couple of times and then select, you know, learn language. And Okay, it looks like it's nine minutes away. So take to the skies. 
Biaum. I'll see you at the auto fetch camp. Governing for a landing. Chikapa. I'm there. Right, let's go and scan this area. Boom! Magical, magical people! Hello, you. How are you, sir? How are you today? You good? See, what you have to do is you have to press down a couple of times. Go to practice language. Then wait for it to go through. Then hit request dialect help. It takes a lot longer than chatting to the geck and stuff up inside of the um, stations. And you can see here, I've still got four. Four nested choices. So we're far from learning all the words. I've heard that there's 667. The structure hit me up and told me there's 667. I already know 300 words. And then you have to go back in again to learn to actually pick up a mission from them. Offer assistance. Here we go. This one's a repair lost autophage. I need to do a load of those. So there we go. And I wish that the rewards more often were to learn more words. At the moment, they're giving me moats, which is great, but um, I don't really want the moats. It'd be nice to have a choice of rewards. You could select your reward or something, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overly picky. But this is just taking a lifetime. And it's like freaking watching paint dry. I mean, I'm playing it. So at least it's half interesting for me. You guys are watching it. And I've noticed I'm not getting a lot of views on these videos, people. I'm not going to lie. You know, I can, make, I can make them kind of entertaining, loosely. But you know, it is what it is. This is this is very sort of. Hey, I'll take French here. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's um, it's not the most riveting. But considering this is end game content, you know, most computer games when they talk of end game content, it's a challenge. The challenge here is staying awake. Okay, here we go. Yeah, request dialect help. Thank you very much. Yes, trade symbol. Thank you. Learn the word for customer. Get back in and offer assistance. Uh, yeah, we're going to be creating some auto chambers for him. Oh, I've got those, I believe, sir. Right. Just wait for a second for the icon to appear above his head if I have or haven't. Nope, I haven't actually got them. I'm going to have to craft them. And I have no free slots. I'm just going to get rid of all these um, staff parts because I, I, I've built the staff that I want now. So I'm all good. One, two, three, four. OK, mate, now I've got them for you. Oh, it's you, actually, isn't it? There you go. Done. Enjoy. I don't know what you need them for. I don't need to know. Keep them for yourself. We visited that one already. And we've picked up one autophage mission from this little encampment. So if I go back into my log, I should be able to pick up that one, which is this one here. Chicka pow. And now I'm going to have to fly on over and hit that up to get the autophage done. Radiant Shard. Radiant Shard. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look, there's a Knowledge Stone on the hill there. Let's go hit that up quickly, people. Knowledge, Knowledge, Knowledge Stone. How are you today? Tickety boo. Tickety pow. Tickety 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 boo. Okay, no other Knowledge Stones in near proximity, is there? No. We're good then. All right, fine. Into the ship I go. And over to repair the damaged autophage. It's not a damaged autophage here, is there? I mean, there's some smoke coming out of the ground. No, it's just damaged technology. All right, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I go fix this autophage. I see you at the autophage. Okay, people, as I was landing, I saw some radiant shards just over yonder. So I'm just going to just jump over there quickly just to zap them. One bit second. Oh, I say radiant shards. It looks like there's one. But these ones are just Atlanteans. Okay, fine. Was that a knowledge stone? It is, isn't it? There's a knowledge stone over there. We'll go and have that in a minute. We'll have that away. I guess we will. Right, let's hit up this autophage, get him repaired. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka chicka pow pow pow. Right, interact with him. Feed lost circuits. There you are. Nice. And scan. Uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got two little Jawas sitting right here. Hello, Jawa number one. Practice language, request dialect help, learn a word, yes please, go back in, have you got a mission? It's probably going to be, um, fix autophage maybe, nope, craft solar mirror, okay. How about you, you got me some missions, you got me some words, practice language, sweet, you got me a mission as well.
Antimatter housing. I think I've got the antimatter housings. Yes, I do. You can have the antimatter housings. I've got to craft some solar mirrors for the other chap. Okay, solar mirrors it is. Oops. One, two, three, four. Got your solar mirrors, my friend. His mission hasn't come up above his head. Oh well. What the fudge? I've crafted four solar mirrors. I've got them. Have I got to go in and select his poxy blinking... There you go. Yeah. Have to select his mission. Well, that's finicky, isn't it? All right, fine. Done. Um, oh, my days. All right. Something I'm not doing, after I've fixed the auto page, I'm not going back to the mission giver. That's why I've got another three just sitting there that I haven't completed. Dang it! Yeah, you have to slide back again, don't you? I forgot about that bit. Oh, man. Okay. Done. Visited. Well, I haven't gone too far from those other systems. I could probably go back and you know, do that. Salvage ship components. I've got a load of ship salvage, my friend. Yeah, there we go. Done that mission already. And your turn. Yes. Joy of joys. Anyway, I'll continue this joy. Okay, well, I'm going to do this return to auto page, and I may as well return to the other auto pages that I've already fixed and hand in the mission, just to get my mission counter up a bit further with these guys. And also, maybe it might register that I've actually fixed the auto pages then. Hmm. Okay, well, let's have a look what my auto page count is right now, thinking about it. So, I've repaired 17 of 20. So, let's go and speak to this guy here. 17 or 20. Hand that in. Let's see if that goes up to 18 or 20. I don't think it will, but let's have a look. Yeah, and it's still 17. So you don't have to do the last step by the looks of things, but it has increased my standing with the autophage. So I've got a few of those other missions that I just didn't go back to the last s section, you know? It looks like I do have to go through the galactic map. I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't want them in my menu anymore, and I don't want to abandon them. I've done all the bloody hard work, didn't I? So you might as well just jump back to previous systems, people, and go and get those all handed in. So I'll look, it's right there anyway. So, yeah, go on. Lovely jubbly. And I'm heading back. Okay, well, I've arrived back again, and I'm just going to hand this in. Oh, for fudge's sake. Hello. <laughs> Not my morning. There you go. And in mission. That's that one done. How far back have we got to go? What's this one? Is this is this is in another bloody system. All right. Well, it looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Well, I, you know what? I can do this in my own time. So I'll see you guys back at my freighter, and we'll be debriefing frigates. Okay. Well, this has got double spanners on this system, people. So I'm thinking both the missions that I've got left need to be handed in here. And this is the last one to hand in, so yes, before I go debrief my frigates, I'll just show you the progress that we've now got with the autophages and with the Gex. So there we go, that's all the missions log complete coded. Now let's go on over here, let's hit on up the Gek. We are currently on 854 words learnt, and with the autophages we're now on 387 words learnt. We're doing pretty good on the old Radiant Shard Harvest, and I really did push that through the roof today, but we still haven't hit the 175 milestone. I don't know what the cap is. We've reassembled a couple of autophages. I think we went from 14 to 18, so four. It's not too bad going, I guess. Could have been better. But the main focus today was to get the Gek words finished, and I didn't quite get the Gek words finished. I don't know what the cap is. But we are on the last tier of the Gek words. This is not a Gek planet, so I could jump to another Gek system. But know what? We'll be doing that next episode, people. Now, I'll be calling in my freighter, and I'll be seeing you up there to debrief my frigates, people. Well, OK, chums, there's about one hour on 18 minutes left, and I've got to rename them. I've called some the Flumps, Dino Riders, and Visionaries. So it stays in keeping with all of my 80s favourite TV shows that I grew up on as a kid. Yeah, I just really like the Visionaries. They had holograms on their chests and stuff. Really cool. Anyway, I'll see you in about an hour or so, people.
What chums? I'm aboard my razor, and we're going back to debrief the frigates. This is how we started the episode, this is how we're ending the episode, and this happens every episode on Endgame No Man's Sky. I mean, this is my endgame to No Man's Sky. What's yours? What's your endgame? What are you up to right now? What's the last thing you're doing on your freaking No Man's Sky shopping list? Now, uh, yeah, I tend to get everything done for every of the updates, but this update, bringing in the new autophage, race and language, has really got me scuppered and really got me running after and chasing my tail. But there's still more for me to do after this, people. Heck yes, there are. So, although that I'm doing my autophage sort of alignment and trying to get that up as high as possible, I've also got to do the outlaws. So that's going to be another element. I'm going to be throwing that into the mix after I finish the auto phase. So we've still got tons to do, people, any of you of us. I guess we do. Anyway, peeps, I'm going to be ending off in a moment. So yeah, yeah, sound off. Let us know what you're still doing. Just going to hit a little save there in the background. Is he using my freaking news desk? Oh no, he's not. He's standing behind it. I thought he was for a second. All right, I digress. Anyway, people, have a very good time out there, any of you of us, whatever you're doing in No Man's Sky. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button to my videos, please do, people, because we're trying to hit, I don't know, what, what, 40 million subscribers? Yeah, I'm on like 30,000 now, so we only need a couple of zeros on there. Hopefully those um subscribes are all going to add up to a couple of zeros. You know, zero is nothing, isn't it? So hopefully we're going to get there super quick. I think that's how maths works. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.